Hello and welcome to Everything to Guppy, the podcast where we talk about every single item, every single enemy, every single everything in the Binding of Isaac. I'm William Hughes, and I'm joined as always by a real Buster and Babs bunny of a guy, Gary Butterfield. Everything. What? What's <laughs> Gary? Really funny you saying everything. Gary, I, I try to put a little English on the ball at the start of those episodes because, Gary, I'm so insecure that I get worried people are going to get bored during that intro. Oh, I don't get bored. I try to mouth along and see if I can match what you're doing. But that really threw me for a loop. Yeah. Uh, I mean, you got, keep up, Butterfield. I'm I'm zigging when you're zagging. I know. Did you notice uh, at the at the cornfield I was doing it? Uh, no, I did not notice <laughs> that. I can't not do it. <laughs> yeah um creepy i realized like i my kind of hope was that somebody would see me but not see you yeah and and just things like that guy's got a really loud whisper this motherfucker's Uh, drift compatible yeah 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 the uh but then you threw me for a loop everything yeah i kind of do that sometimes i'm trying to i'm just trying to keep a little spice on the masala you know what i'm saying you are an unpredictable you're a wild child in terms I, of New Vegas reputations. At Gary, absolutely. Also child killer from Fox. Child <laughs> Wild Child Shush. Killer. You only kill wild children. Uh Gary, yeah. did you like my tiny Toma Adventures joke? I did like that. Yeah. Yeah. I get that uh, I get that theme song stuck in my head a lot. It's real catchy. That show doesn't hold mm-hmm. up. Um yeah. yeah, I mean, some of the bands they brought in to play songs uh, just seem like crappy novelty bands. Good novelty bands, thank you. Or good okay, bands okay. playing playing great oh, novelty music. <laughs> All right, backing up, backing up. <laughs> Gary <laughs> Gary realizes that I have set a snare behind him that he has jumped back into. So now he has good, had to take another big step great back bands after that. That were playing uh, good novelty music. This is a uh, this is a rehashing of discourse from it, the guppy slack where i a supr- that, that's had a surprisingly long tail with you yeah I, I, every once in a while like i kind of thought you would you would get over this quicker not not in a uh, disappointed dad way just like i'm just kind of surprised it's still coming up yeah something no, got in your had, call, man well I, I, yeah. I thought it was a very powerful question to ask are they yeah. might be giants a novelty band yeah no yeah. it is a powerful question to ask and an even more powerful question to answer which is that they are a non-novelty band that has performed in a novelty space. Okay. You mean Dr. Yeah. Demento? Yeah. And Tiny Tune Adventures. But also... I still think that the key distinguishing feature of a novelty band is being featured on Dr. Demento. I, mm. That is the dividing line. That is where I draw my, my mark in the sand. Certainly the key defining feature of a novelty song. Okay. Gary, Birdhouse in Your Soul has been played on Dr. Demento. I don't think it's a novelty song. I think that was one of the Dr. Demento's You just said! You just said! Hey, nobody is perfect, including <laughs> Dr. Demento. I don't care you how many degrees he take has. take your fucking, his fucking name out of your garbage pit mouth, Butterfield. <laughs> you take his cock out of your mouth when you say his name. He's Dr. Demento. <laughs> That's Quit only joking respectful. On his balls. Yeah, that's Doctor Demento. Quit choking on his balls. There's the shirt. Quick, there's a great shirt. Would you quit sucking off Doctor Demento for one goddamn minute, so you can say his name, Doctor Demento, <laughs> and get a big pile of shaving cream? Be Gary, nice I, uh, yeah, fish heads, shaving fish heads. cream in your face. No, I was Pull making this it for cum. Font, blubber macadamia. I was making it for cum. It wasn't just me saying shaving cream. It was oh, the, I what happens we were... when Doctor Demento comes. I thought we were just doing Dr. Demento style songs. No, like no, songs no. I was, I was trying to think. I was thinking like a party popper or a silly string. Uh-huh. But no, obviously a big pile of shaving cream. I thought out. we were just naming songs that were from my Dr. Demento uh, compilation CD. And my mom got me when I was like 15. <laughs> you know what? I was naming songs from a CD that you had that I didn't know you had. Yeah. Can, <laughs> can we play a quick game? Sure. Uh, I would like you to take three stabs at naming Dr. Demento's real first name. Oh, this is fun. Because, I, yeah, I don't know. Yeah, me either. Um, I'm looking it up right yeah. now. Richard? Okay. It looks like a Richard to me. Sure. Um, uh, Gary, I'll give you a hint. I've okay. now looked at his first name. It is extru- He really looks like his first name. Okay. Um, boy. I, it's uh, hard, George? Right? Okay, no. Things looks like a George. All um, right, and, th- and those were just, you know, that was you... 
charting the space, laying out the yep. field goal markers or whatever sports thing. So okay, and now before, you're just gonna like fucking George nail it. And, I'd be I'd feel great if I I nailed it. Um, I, I would between, be so fucking excited between George and Richard. <laughs> I'm not saying that it's exactly between George and Richard. I'm just saying. <laughs> Can you please say exactly what that means? <laughs> no, you're just sketching the space yeah, in which we're yeah, going yeah. to play. Like, George, you're, Richard, you're firing the um, first two arrows. You're like, you're uh, calibrating your shot. Yeah. Um, Brian? You're so close, Gary. You're so Damn fucking it. close. It's Damn Barry. It. It's Barry. Oh, he does look like a Barry. He does. He looks exactly. He's like a Barry from Resident Evil when he's all grown up and got way yeah. into novelty music. <laughs> Yeah. I don't actually think he cares for it very much. <laughs> very important. Well, this isn't for me. <laughs> yeah, maybe my me, daughter. The master likes of this. unlocking loneliness for many, many nerdy children. <laughs> the, um, hey, we're listening uh, to Green Day. What do you want to listen to? Do you have Bulbous Buffont? <laughs> yeah, do you have the latest Buffon. Fireside Theater or whatever the fuck it is? <laughs> it's exactly Fireside Theater. How about those dead ale wives? <laughs> Uh, the, uh, I cast magic missile at the darkness. I I love those those sketches. I think those are very funny. Uh, yeah, no, at the time. Well, at the time, I mean, they got played into the ground so much so that they were in the credits of Summoner for the PS2. Baby, classic, baby. classic. Hey, Gary. Speaking of babies, uh huh. We're talking about Tiny Toma. Yeah, this is not bad. I think it's I don't a, know if I've ever had like we're deep into the items I've never gotten. I don't think I've <laughs> killed Mother as Lazarus. Here, back that up. <laughs> it's not bad. I guess I don't know. I've never gotten it. We're deep on you know, paper. This. It seems good. It's okay. Uh, I've had this. Um, it's okay. It's a it's a blend of uh, offense and defensive uh, orbital. Yes, uh, gives you a little tiny teratoma. You know, a real ass thing uh, that orbits you if enemies touch it. Uh, it does damage. And then uh, after it blocks some shots or does damage, it splits into two. And that's um, like, what? Two ter- two tiny Tomas? I'm living Two tiny dream. Tomas. Yep. Double twin tiny Tomas. A duet um, of pleasures. And then uh, eventually it'll be destroyed and then we'll come back. Like uh, well, after oh, it explodes, Gary, it explodes into Gary, spiders. Yes. There we yeah. go. Yes. Uh, so when So this can take, an, uh, each of those tiny Tomas can take another two hits. And then when they break, they generate three blue spiders. So yep. that's for every original tiny Toma, you're getting six blue spiders, baby. Pretty good. And then they, uh, and they're blocking shots or doing work for you. And then it all, it all regenerates after about five seconds. Yeah. Like the uh, bad version of this would be like, and then it's gone for the room. But no, this regenerates every five no. seconds. Like you're yeah. going to, like you take this into like the hush fight. You're going to end up with a lot of fucking blue spiders. Yep. And a lot of blocked hits. So it's good. Yeah. It's, it's not very razzle dazzle. You know, that, I, I, Gary, that's true. It's not razzle mazzle. Is that what you said? It's it's razzle smazzle. It's a Gary, I, it's razzle dazzle. It's it's the it's an official name of a kind of paint style. Oh, the the, the razzle dazzler. What's razzle dazzle? Yeah. The paint style. Oh, it's like it's one of those weird uh, computer generated uh, camouflage patterns that's like supposedly oh. designed to fuck up the eye that the military pays way too much money for. Got you. I'll have to take a look. Get my eyes fucked up. Yeah. Uh. Yeah, it just give, it, give me some super, give me some of those cyberpunk drugs where I don't inject anything. I just look at a pattern and it gets me high. Yeah, neon. Ooh. Everyone loves to do a big dose of neon spike. Roko's basilisk. Wait, that's not yeah, Roko's basilisk. Love to is. suck that's off Roko's basilisk. basilisk. Yeah. That, that's a. Did you ever go down the Roko? Like Roko's basilisk is complicated enough that it makes me think you might like it. I'm not gonna, uh, you know, Gary. Uh, if I admit to that, then. A hundred years oh, so from now, a malevolent AI will create a copy of me to torture me for not helping the AIs uh, to come to fruition. And you've answered it in full. Hmm? Nope, don't think so. <laughs> the, um, that was just the thing uh, I worry about with everything I do. Oh, okay, that's true. There's the, we never know when a malevolent AI is going to make a copy of us. But you know what I think about with that? I don't care about I mean, what happens to a copy of me. You're very soma pilled, so you don't give I'm a shit. I'm very soma. Yeah, some, your idea that you can feel copies of yourself is uh is a you know in terms of these metaphysical experiments a big big dividing line between us i mean gary it's yeah. more that i only have empathy for things that look and exactly think exactly you. like me yeah has this ever crossed a line into self cessed would you have sex with a version of yourself from a different time uh i mean the honest answer gary is probably not uh mostly because i'm uh i mean i'm like probably like 95 to a hundred like straight. 
Yeah. So that's not, so like just the bits do not appeal. They do not inspire yeah. passion in me. Um, yeah. And I like, I think I have a, a nice enough face. I don't particularly like my body very much. Not in a Taylor Swift making an offensive music video kind of way, but. Yeah, I like uh, your face. Yeah. I have it's, it's a copy of you. <laughs> oh, thanks, man. <laughs> I, I don't think I actually would. It'd be weird because it would remind me too much of my friend Will. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. No, oh, sorry to disappoint. I'm not, um, not disappointed. Just uh, <laughs> uh, uh, you seem disappointed. Um, yeah. Well, yeah. You seem disappointed, not me. Oh, I don't know. Uh, you seem, the, the, seems like maybe you're disappointed, uh, but I'm not. I'm a little bit disappointed. I don't know. Maybe just a little bit. Uh, hey, Gary, if people enjoy this show, what should they do? Uh, well, log on to selfsess.com, a.k.a. patreon.com slash duckfeedtv, your source for self and uh, give us some money, and then leave us a uh, rating review on Apple Podcast or Podcast Addict. Yeah, I gotta, uh, let's be very clear, they need to up their donations. We took a bath on that fucking corn maze. That was $8 per ticket. Do you know how long it takes this yeah. show to make $8, $16? <laughs> like, I do. And this yeah. isn't even counting the gift shop stuff that enticed us. <laughs> that we bought yeah <laughs> um gary you know, bought some goddamn I, pumpkin butter i bought some pumpkin butter and some pumpkin spice soap can i tell you an intrusive thought real quick yeah please always uh, i've been washing with that uh that pumpkin spice soap <laughs> yeah. and i was washing my uh my human asshole out and uh-huh. uh in my head in the shower to no one in particular i kept saying he got that pumpkin spice bussy uh while washing my ass out with this uh novelty soap I'm going to reiterate another thing I said in Slack lately, which is that if I, I've, whatever my old answer for what to do with a time machine was, now it's to go back and stop whoever taught the ussy joke to Gary. It's the internet. You'd have to stop the originator. You can't just stop it from getting to me. Great. You had to stop it for the world because like it would get to me eventually. You know? Yeah. No, I agree. You're too online. Yeah. Yeah. No, I mean, you don't have to be too online. Like, you know about it, and you're you're not too online. I know about it because I do a podcast <laughs> with a man who makes a joke about it That's once how every 11 works. minutes. That's how online works. It's the Rocco's Basilisk of oh, net. Okay. <laughs> um, time is exactly the same way. Uh, do you have a reading review for us? Uh, I, I'm trying to figure out where I left off, because uh, right. we got some new ones in. Uh, let's see. Sorry. Oh, there it That's is. Okay. That, that, there we, okay, this one's another one from Unprofessional P, yeah, Unprofessional uh, which P. we know stands for Unprofessional Podcaster, but that does not count. Yes. I realize that if I listen to this on the speaker in the kitchen, you can hear it outside the house. I suppose my neighbors think I'm some sort of pervert now. Love the show. Unprofessional Podcaster Will Hughes and untrained improviser Gary Butterfield. And that was a five-star review from Unprofessional P, comma. Thank you. Thank you. No ghost. No ghost. I don't want no ghost. <laughs> ghost is a guy who can't get no love from me. Hello and welcome to Everything to Guppy, the Binding of Isaac podcast that covers every item, trinket, character, boss, character, uh, in the Binding of Isaac series of video games. My name is Gary Butterfield, and with me as always is a guy who you don't want to go in the bathroom after him because of what he leaves there, Will Hughes. Gary, literally the last thing I did before hopping on the show with you was clean my toilet, and I can confirm that that might be the you most accurate intro bombs. joke. You- well, Gary, I have diarrhea pretty often, and uh, I have a powerful ass uh that has a, yeah, a fire hose like effect so the underside of that seat is getting gnarly uh, yeah 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 the gallagher zone bounce back the quest um, for memory yes <laughs> gary before we get Sweet to the flashback uh thanks man <laughs> so gary before yeah, we get to the yeah, yeah you, you, you sorry no, i didn't I give you enough think, tickle I, time I, no no in my head i was just thinking i wonder what kind of shits that guy has yeah um polygonal yeah, yeah, that hurt. That hurt. Weirdly, no aesthetically pleasing, despite being like you know objectively out of date. Yeah, and excruciating for the doer. You look yeah. at those shits and you're like, uh, "Wow, style really can take you a long way past I, technical mm-hmm. issues." Somehow, this has aged better than the shits from Boogerman. Yeah, <laughs> the yeah. shits from Boogerman. 
Uh, go check out the Out of This World episode of Watch Out for yeah. Fireballs. Smile and stay him. Yeah. yeah. Uh, and, Gary, uh, before... Yeah, mm-hmm. on this world episode of Retronauts, I also guessed it on because I <laughs> double dipping, baby. <laughs> you fucking two trick pony. Yeah, man. I got two podcasts I like to be on. Anywho, yeah. uh, please and, the, and then also I'm here. <laughs> and then I'm on several more. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Gary, before we get to the item today, I wanted to ask yeah. uh I, I you know I try to be like an open person emotionally and also an educator yep. spiritually. I so those I wanted, are two things that I would say about you. Yes. Thank you. Uh, Gary, so I wanted to open the floor to you. Uh, what questions do you have for me, a person who saw Black Adam in a movie theater yesterday? Ooh, yes. Um, I do have some questions because yes. I am a vague enjoyer of the Shazam film uh, in that I saw it once and was thought it was kind of fun. Yeah. Uh, are there any connections to that? Does it play into the Shazam mythos? Uh, Jaiman Hansu does appear as the wizard, briefly, okay. in flashbacks. Okay. Uh, uh, beyond that, no, there are, oh, uh, and then there's a massively spoilerful final stinger, uh, connection, which is very funny to me in hindsight. Okay. And then, uh, these other, Gary, you know, we're the, not going to introduce- spoil the big moments of black Adam on this podcast. You're going to have to go to the theater and then film yourself hooting and hollering when you see <laughs> a the certain moment. Kryptonian. <laughs> yeah. Ooh. Is it the dad? Is it the dog? <laughs> It's the, um, dog. it's the dog. Oh, it's, it's, that's phenomenal. Which also starred, which also starred Dwayne Johnson. Yeah. Oh shit. You're right. Uh, my other question is, does it account for why those are those like justice uh, society of America guys have not been in the previous movies? Uh, like why was Dr. Fate not helping out against dark seed and shit? You say dark seed, dark side. Yeah. Dark seed. I yeah. just said dark seed. Is it dark? Side? Well, it's cause it's spelled like dark seed. It's dark side though. Oh, okay. I always said dark seed. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Gary, the answer to that question is no, except that they're like weird, like UN styled nerds. Okay. They're like, <laughs> like it's a big point in the movie that this like Middle Eastern country has been occupied by a gang of highly militarized British people for the last 27 years. <laughs> and no one gives two shits until the rock wakes up and starts like <laughs> killing a couple of guys. And this movie has the superheroes. weirdest fucking politics, dude. I, I can tell that sounds it is the most strange. kill happy mo- uh, superhero movie I've ever seen. Well, it's Dwayne, the rock Johnson interviews was warning us all that this is not your daddy's superhero. You know, this yeah. is, this is serious. He kills people. Well, but well, first of all, he he makes a lot of jokes about killing people, oh, but okay. it's more that like it's not just that he kills people. Deadpool kills people. Sure. Uh, it's that he when every time he kills someone, Hawkman is like, "You shouldn't kill people," and Dwayne Johnson's like, "Yeah, but they're bad guys." And then the movie's like, kind of has a point. Uh, yeah, interesting. Maybe yeah, I will go is- see Black Adam in theaters this weekend. Absolutely, Gary. Uh, I mentioned this on Twitter, but in 40 minutes, you hear bullet with butterfly wings and then <laughs> paint it black and then Kanye's power. Yep, uh, because he is like a bullet with butterfly wings, but he is known to paint it black and he has lots of power. Gary, fucking paint it black. They they also thread it into the score during like the first big uh, action thing. And you just hear like a little twang of the guitar. And and you're I'm sitting there like, they're not going to break into like an orchestral <laughs> cover of paint it black are they in this fucking movie about a superhero surely who's last, who's what is this sucker punch what yeah, is sure, this? surely they're not gonna do this they've excised yeah. all the Zack snyder from their bullshit yeah nope but then nope Next. when they get to yeah. the actual action climax of the thing just the straight fucking song yeah. i went i yelled yeah. i didn't yell in the theater because i was with olivia and i try not to yell in the theater unless a little boy dies and goes oh mr stark i don't feel so good the funniest moment in a movie ever uh but I digress. Yeah. Black Adam. It's really bad. It uh, it looks pretty bad. The review made it sound bad. Like I said, I was a general well-wisher of the shazam Uh So I was mildly curious. This is a I hostile probably... parasite leap backing off of the shazam Yeah, I probably, yeah, I'm probably going to miss it. And not least of which just because of my entirely arbitrary dividing line of like liking Marvel stuff and disliking DC stuff. Sure. So, which one has uh, the little boy who doesn't feel good? Uh, well, there's lots of little boys that don't feel good in both. Okay. So, yeah. Um, but the little boy you're specifically talking about is the spider man. Mr. Stark. Mr. Stark. Yes, Peter. 
I don't Peter, what's wrong? Oh, my chummy, my chummy, Mr. Stark. A, a big oh. purple man snapped his fingers, and for some reason, I'm oh. getting the slowest version of it. I don't know why. Do you, do you need but some... Hey, kid, uh, do, you, uh, do you need some juice box? Uh, yeah, pour some juice box on my dust, Mr. Stark. Here, Mr. Here's, Stark? Here's, Mr. Stark? Here's some juice. Ja, ja, ja. Mr. Stark, one more, just one more thing, Mr. Stark. <laughs> just one more thing. Okay, okay, Mr. Okay. I don't feel so good. Oh. And that was my that was my short tree right open. <laughs> that was my short what, film. What if Columbo was like, Mr. Sayon, one more thing. I don't feel so good. Yeah, what, if, what if what if Spider-Man in I, I never really thought about whether Colum- Columbo would make it in the snap. Oh, I mean he's dead by then. Oh, probably. Columbo died in the 19... 19- I, I assume Columbo died when Peter Falk did. No. Yes. That's not thinking with comics. You recast him. <laughs> That's... Gary, <laughs> Gary, Bam. Gary, you, Gary, I need you to treat that fact like Dr. Demento's dick and get it out of your goddamn mouth. <laughs> I will never take Dr. Demento's dick out of my mouth, no matter how many times you or Liv tell me to. T-shirt. Um, T-shirt. Uh, Gary, it's it funny. Bombs. It's brimstone bombs. It um, <laughs> yeah. Bong. Can't stop sucking uh, clown dick. It just tastes funny. I know. It tastes or funny. licking clown Why? pussy. Yes. Or uh, performing oral sex on clown genitalia. Uh-huh. In a general way. Hey, Gary, clown um, pussy? Clown pussy? It's, it is. This is a real thing, man. Uh like clissy is a real thing. There it I is. didn't know okay. that. I couldn't I couldn't finish personally until I heard clussy. My, so. my, my my friend in the Slack, Weep, has talked about uh there being real clown uh clown pussy enthusiast that they know. Uh and I was just huh. Gary, Bullshit. don't blow up Weep works very hard not to be the horny person in the Slack anymore. Stop blowing up their spot. I fair. Um, of course. <laughs> Gary, it's brimstone bombs it is brimstone bombs uh a deceptively real good item tell me uh, more gary uh because i think this is another one i've only ever had in like oh no i've done i've absolutely gotten this one it's an easy unlock it's fun unlock. yeah easy easy unlock fun easy unlock uh so this makes your bombs uh little demons they look great mm-hmm. um gives you five bombs and they explode shooting brimstone lasers in four directions um, this is to me, I think of this as the, Hey, goober use bombs for combat item. Absolutely. Like all of the, the bomb synergies are that, but this has no additional effect other than using it for con for combat. So for a condom, very different. John, G- um, Gary, I called you John. Who's my friend. I do my streams with Gary. Don't use bombs as condoms. Your dick will explode. Don't call me John. Um, okay. Then we'll have a deal. Just because I fucked up doesn't mean you don't get to address what I said. Well, I'm I'm offering you a bargain. Oh, a devil's bargain! If you I'm will. offering you a brimstone bargain, would if, you like brimstone? Would you like job. plus if, one more die? If you would like to uh, not I up, come, they're doing they're doing blades in the dark on uh, on Adventure yeah. Zone, Zone. So I picked up the the book. It's good. Nobody wanted to take my uh, devil's bargains when I ran that game. I you, you play with cowards, man. I I I have a conservative play group. It's a. Uh, it's just true. I have a, a self-preservation minded playgroup. Uh, with, I mean, how could you not with Levi? <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> I'm alone. He's a saint. He's never gonna hear it. Never gonna hear it. I can't think of a person less likely to listen to Guppy. Uh, yeah, Levi has started uh, his own podcast. What? Uh, so maybe, yeah, with uh, with Jen, they're talking about uh, Final Fantasy 14 stuff. Um, it's not it's not available yet. They're still banking episodes and stuff. But, okay. Yeah. Uh, so maybe he will. He he asked. He was talked about me listening to it. To give him some tips. I was like, I can do that. I'm a professional podcaster. Um, the uh, an amateur improviser. But uh, so this this is very effective at killing stuff. And that's yeah. That's so it. like these are just like they're just straight up brimstone lasers. They do eight damage per tick. Uh, nineteen yep. times. That's great. Uh, lay these down. If Gary, you have real quick, any how much to- does that add up to? Ooh, good question. Um, it's gonna be like four hundred. Hundred hundred fifty two per per beam. Huh? Oh. Eight times nineteen. Oh. Huh. Well, yeah, I didn't know that. 
<laughs> Shit, man. <laughs> Which part didn't you know? <laughs> You you <laughs> I'm gonna blue screen here in a second. Oh, no. I I can't knows. do math and talk at the same time, man. Gary, pull it's back not, from the blue screen. I I can't. I cannot. I just realized, you know. So when I went to a chiropractor once, I've told the story before. Uh huh. And he uh, he was incredibly like European vampire mode. Great. He's like, now I'm going to distract you, wiggle your toes, and then crack my neck. And it worked. Like when I was thinking about wiggling my toes, I couldn't resist his neck crack. Uh, if anybody ever wants me to do anything, like if I'm just like running, like I'm trying to to save the world or whatever. And someone's like, Hey, Hey, Fado, what's eight times 19. I, I will drop everything in my hands. I can't, I cannot multitask with math, man. Yeah. I'm I mean, realizing just, that now. Yeah. You just got to use, uh, you got to use the new math. So eight times 10 is 80 plus and eight times nine well, is 72, 80 plus 72, 152. Or I Gary, know that. Eight times twenty is obviously one hundred sixty, and then just subtract one eight from it, one fifty two. I know both. Of, I do new math in my head, but uh-huh. not while doing other stuff. Not while what, what improving in the. What else are you doing? I, I I'm doing the Squid Game esque <laughs> like emotional joust <laughs> that is everything to Guppy. Where See, even Gary- if we've been having a pretty gentle day, <laughs> I have to be ready for it to turn at any moment. <laughs> <laughs> Whereas Gary, this just feels like being me to me. Yeah, well, you love doing math. I was born to the guppy. You were you were born to the guppy, but you were also born to the math. You taught math. I did uh, to kids. I don't. I'm not a math minded man. So the uh, numbers, facts, things that are objectively true, not for me. Science, all that stuff, none of my business. I just uh, Gary wants the soft sciences, and he wants all his video games to be museums. I want all my. That's 100 percent true. And the softer the science, like all the soft sciences, could be even softer. As far as I'm concerned, I want to slide on it. <laughs> that's um, sussy. <laughs> that's soft, soft, sussy. Um, yeah, the uh, there's not really much else to say about this other than that it's it's really good. And if you have a way of repeatable like bombs or lots of bombs, yeah, like if you have like bogo bombs or something like that, this basically will just win the run for yeah. you. If uh, you can drop a bomb every couple rooms, you're smiling. Yeah, uh, and also uh, the unlock for this is, uh, we've talked about this uh, on that boss's episode, but if you kill Hornfell, he, after he hops out of his minecart, uh, this is that's how you unlock this. Yes, which is fun and easy and a cool unlock. Yeah. Uh, Gary, if people uh, if enjoy pe- this show, what should they do? Go to patreon.com slash duckfeedtv and uh, give us some dollars. Uh, five, ten, twenty, a couple hundreds. All that's good. And then uh, leave ratings reviews on Apple Podcast or Podcast Addict. Uh, like this one from Anda McBee. Uh, Burn Wooden Gary. Edit. Never mind. You already did it. <laughs> and that was a five star review. Oh. The. Uh, thanks. Yeah. The more support for Wooden Gary. Uh, uh, no ghost. Mm-hmm. No ghost. Hello and welcome to Everything to Guppy, the podcast where we talk about every single item, every single enemy, every single everything in the Binding of Isaac. I'm William Hughes, and I'm joined, as always, by a guy who's always coming at you half-charged, Gary Butterfield. Uh, yeah. It's, no, Gary, I gotta not do intros where the joke is you be in low energy, because it just murders the goddamn show. <laughs> it also makes me tired in real life. <laughs> oh, yeah. <So. laughs> Wait. Well, now I feel powerful. It's a, it's a, t- a month's amount of power that you have, uh, in months amount of power that you have that I can, uh, <laughs> um, yeah, yeah, uh, uh, yeah, Dewey. Gary, before we get into it, can we do what your very favorite segment, uh, <laughs> will the duck feed listener <laughs> sounds off well, only, only as it has been cleared in the green room. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is the, out of all of the mean things that we say to each other and like play, you know, live fire spaces. That uh-huh. you and I play in. This is the one that I most require to be pre-negotiated. Yeah. Uh, this this is by far the thing that I am most sensitive to out of all of the stuff. Excellent. Uh, uh, and to be clear, wild. I did pre-negotiate it. I'm good. Here. You did. Yeah. You, you, had, <laughs> you had permission to say anything, even though I agreed it would be fine without knowing what it was. Yeah. So. 
So, Uh, Gary. Please. I was listening to a little podcast called Best Quality Vacuum. Uh, uh, (laughs) If I type better quality vacuum, you think I'll get the show? I don't think so. Fuck. I think you'll get vacuum vacuum reviews. Probably. Anyway, I was listening to, uh, you know, I saw that, you know, first of all, first note, wish it came out weekly. Wish it it came out weekly. I understand why it can. Wish it did. Uh, Love the show. One of my favorite shows you've done in a while. Thanks. Uh, That being said, Gary, your dumb fucking mouth did say a thing. Uh, (laughs) Gentle. It's gentle. It's gentle. It's nice. It's in the context of friendship. Um, You're talking like Cole. I would, I would just like to say that uh, when Cole brought up that uh, as a chemistry student, he was told that hydrofluoric acid could go through your skin and melt your bones. You acted like that is not a thing. Uh, It's a thing, man. I, I found that out after we recorded, okay. but I'm not going to take, I'm not going to take any hits for not knowing it in advance, but, but see also but you're, previous it, how soft I want my sciences to be. I know it's a real theme today, but like, yeah. like I did, I actually, cause I was told that in chem class too. And yep. I, I spent some time looking it up last night and, uh, it's, it's a little complicated cause it will fuck your skin up eventually too, yes. but it'll fuck your skin up very slowly while it will leach into your bones very quickly because those horrifying. fluorine. Those fluorine ions really want to eat calcium. It's yeah, it's scary as hell. Uh, I was I looked it up after we recorded the episode. Uh-huh. Uh huh. And it's super scary. Like never be, yeah. never let anyone tell you that you don't do your due diligence, Gary. After the fact. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like I like to research after the podcast. Speak um, first, then think. Yeah. I I, I ache it, everything to guppy. Yeah. Um. The uh. Yeah. That shit's fucking nuts. But again, I'm not going to feel bad about not knowing it in advance because I never Gary, took chemistry. Gary, nobody so, needs you to feel bad. They just need you to feel chastened. I don't feel chastened about it. I don't I don't need to know about science. It's a, it's it's an amazing thing about my life. I worked very hard to uh-huh. craft a life where I don't need to know a lot of things that don't interest me. Okay. It was a lot of work and I'm living in the uh the reward for it and I'm yeah. not going to let you break up my stride. Gary, you might um, literally be describing what's left of the American dream. <laughs> I think I am. Yeah. Gary Butterfield, American Dream. <laughs> I may um, not have a family of any note, and I may I mean, not have financial security, but I don't have yeah. to know things I don't want to know. I don't have to know about chemistry unless I look it up or watch a kid's chemistry YouTube. <laughs> watch a kid's um, <laughs> unless I watch that Bluey episode where he cooks math. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I love to figure out what's going on with chemistry via my teacher. YouTube. Uh, that's pretty true. Uh, that's how I learned about chemistry. All right, but. Gary. Now, can we rate how you're feeling about that? that how that segment went? Yeah, absolutely. This is, this will help us calibrate for the future. Yeah. 10 out of 10. Excellent. That was fun. That was excellent to me. I get what I don't like uh, mm-hmm. is people. Uh, I specifically am sensitive about feedback around bonfire side chat because sure. historically people are meaner about that. Sure. Uh, and then the other thing is if it's a known thing that you and I, we've talked about before and we disagree about, it can sometimes feel bad because it's like, we've already been through this, man. We just know that we're on different pages. Sure. You know, but th- that's the big thing is that like, if anyone's ever been mean historically, it's almost always bonfires I chat and it's just like, you fucking idiot. I can't believe you do this. And I'm like, well, I don't Gary, know. What man. is it you think Get about my you that causes people to be like that? Well, people do that to Cole as well on that show. Okay, what do you think it is about you and Cole as people that causes people to be like that? I think I think like I think I don't think it is us. I think people can't be chill about Souls games. So, because uh, they they're not like that about other like it's by far the worst one. Like we, you know, say similar opinion stuff on other shows uh, that are equally incendiary, incendiary, but uh, incendiary. people only get you know incendiary uh only get no chill about soul stuff soul of so that is the common like denominator yeah that's the common denominator not being cool okay yeah uh but yeah that's the that's the uh the sense of thing little little uh psa for people listening uh, uh, a real quick way to go to mute city uh not the fun f0 one do, do, is do, to just do, 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 do. my old video game cover band Sorry. covered that it's such a good, i know it's a good song. you've You've said those exact yeah. words on this show before. <laughs> You've sung that exact tune before. <laughs> yeah, Gary. Yeah, um, time it's a great is song. up. Uh, I'm going to listen to it after this. But yeah, just being like, uh, correction, here's your opinion. It's wrong about soul shit. Don't like it. Yeah. I, Irritating. Yeah. Uh, 
Garrett, are, there, like. are there any other things that I do uh, that you would like to uh, litigate on on air right now? Let me think. Yeah, please. Um, no, not on air. Okay. Uh, <laughs> uh, we're talking about an item today, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, like uh, 4.5 volt. Mm-hmm. A classic everything to guppy. Uh, Gary likes it. Will doesn't. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Item. Mm-hmm. No. Mm-hmm. No. What's this? Uh, what's yeah. going on? No, nothing. It's fine. It's good. Uh, come on, man. <laughs> <laughs> You're fine. It's all fine. <laughs> Shut up. Everything's fine. Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. Everything's fine. Shut up. <laughs> T-shirt. <laughs> Gary, I got I got Bill in my my stream chats really hopping up on so my, my d- dingus about getting him to made. replace me. Yeah. Uh, well, no, they just want yeah. the shirts. They just want the fucking shirts. I would like the shirts as well. There's a place in Portland that'll just print out like a small print run, however many you want of shirts. Yeah. We don't have I to really like don't, put them in I, everywhere. We can just make shirts. Yeah. Okay. But we have to design the shirt. And and as funny as my idea of no ghost with a picture of a ghost with a big X, like a big line, a circle and a line through it. I think yeah. we might hear from some of Sony's lawyers. We wouldn't. No. We, we make like 10 t-shirts. Nobody's going to care. All right. Uh, okay. Yeah. Gary, do you want to pledge I, by the end of the year to give people the opportunity to buy a guppy shirt? Not by the end of the year. I don't. Okay. I really got like a month and a half. We got like by the end uh, of January. Left. By the end of January. Maybe by the end of January. My fiance's moving in. It's busy times over here. Gary is um, commit Gary is verbally committing at this time to the end of January. I'm kind of explicitly not. I think yeah. I said maybe. <laughs> yeah. You said maybe a lot, um, bud. I did say how many maybes equals a yes. <laughs> that, that sounds like a horrible like book about consent it that would does. be given away in like high school sex ed in like 20 years ago. Gary, I would now. go so far as to say that Guppy is often not a good model for consent. I would agree. Even though we did, actually, I'm taking that back because uh-huh. we we're kind of do really good at that. That's what we did with that that bit with the uh, the best quality vacuum feedback thing. Mm-hmm. That was the perfect model of consent. I feel like couples who want to get into sex stuff or start a sexual relationship <laughs> would be well positioned to Sweetie, pattern their negotiations for about after. six years now. You want to get into sex stuff? You want to get into sex stuff? Uh, I'm going to bring up in a gentle way something that you said on one of your podcasts, and then we're going to fuck. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, the, uh, what do you think? But no, we negotiated that great. We did. I think we did good on consent and that Gary, specific instance. Do you want to uh, commit to mm. making a guppy reference during intimate times with your lady? Let me. Th- I think. I think it I'm would be really good SEO it. for the show. I'm thinking about it because I want to see if I have before. Sure. Sure. <laughs> like for a while, I think I mentioned this before. For a little while after coming. <laughs> A couple times an accident went wah wee wah wo, which is what <laughs> Borhat says. <laughs> and then realized what I was doing and stopped. I, I didn't know you were such a big Borhat fan, man. <laughs> just it just came out. Wah wee wah wo. Because it was a good orgasm. Um Gary, it doesn't just it, come out. You've got to stimulate some glands. You've got to push first. it out. Yeah. Yeah. You've you got to suck it out of Dr. Demento's turgid hog with, with all great, the force of a th- <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> a thousand of Dale wives. Um yeah. Hey Gary, it's a uh, four point five volt. It's four point five volt. Uh, this item, I think, this is very interesting. Personally, agreed. And I've had great luck with it. Uh, passive item, mm-hmm. shop, or the battery bum. And it, this is not an upgrade; it's a side grade. It fundamentally yes. changes how something works in the game. You better pull out your uh, Nokia Engage because you're side talking now. You're side talking, baby. Uh, this makes it so instead of getting item charges for clearing rooms, you get item charges for doing damage. Uh, so you do a certain amount of damage and it ticks up a charge. Uh, uh, as you yeah, go. Yeah. So like, and, and, oh, that that's, I never even knew it fucking does this. Uh, the, the math gets worse the deeper into the game you go. Yes. It scales with your damage. So like it's, it roughly ends up being the same amount of effort mm-hmm. to get a charge, uh, but it's not like since it's based on the damage you do, it You'll assumes your it damage will be increasing. Room. One more time. You'll be getting it. What? You'll be getting the charges mid room instead yes. of at the end yeah. of the room. 
Well, yeah. Well, I was going to say, because your, gam- your damage is going to go up as you go up floor by floor. So the damage required goes up is the idea behind what you're, what you're talking about. You do yeah. get charges mid, mid room. Uh, the reason this is good to me is, uh, for the super bosses. Um, if I am fighting hush or I'm fighting delirium or something, I'm going to be doing tons and tons of damage because they have huge inflated hit bars, which means there are many active items that I get to use tons of times. Um, when I've gone in to fight hush and I've been pretty powerful and had like book of revelation or something, this has saved me because you can generate seven or eight spirit hearts during the fight. Yeah. Gary, Um, that's a great point. Yeah. It's a, it's not super fun or it's not super usable. Uh, or useful just kind of in normal runs it's really good for long boss fights or uh, boss rush really good for that um anything that you're going to be doing a lot of damage uh yeah also apparently this was originally called assault and battery yeah which is a pretty good name that's a pretty clever name great job all involved yeah and then they yeah they changed it though to make it fit with the rest of the batteries Ooh. what uh what's happening with the cosmetics of this I, I'm not, I think you're jamming the, the battery up your butt, maybe, or, or into your eye. No, okay, because the <laughs> terminals, see Isaac's butt the terminals, yeah, the yeah. terminals are of the battery, which are, like, spiky, yep. are coming out of Isaac's eye, which means that the battery must be laying flat inside his head. Yeah. It's weird. It looks We never really painful. think about where Isaac's storing most of this stuff. I, I assumed it was in his uh, butt. So. Okay. One of us had never really thought about where we're storing these items. Yep. And one of us thought that Isaac was taking a wooden spoon and slowly inserting it into his Isusi. The, um, uh, Gary, if uh, people enjoy this show, what should they do? We go to patreon.com slash duck dot Uh, one more and- time, one more time, please. <laughs> patreon.com slash duckfeed.tvc is where you should put your dick dollar and uh, you can also leave us a rating review on Apple Podcasts or Podcast Addict I like this review from Zay Nation on Podcast Addict hey, a few months ago I announced the birth of my child here she has since been birthed and there was much rejoicing we named her Penny after Inspector Gadget's niece please don't tell my wife that that is why I agreed to the name also please don't tell her I've started playing the Binding of Isaac again kisses that's a five star review. I, happy boy, birthday, Penny. I, happy birthday, Penny. Boy. Uh, yeah. Now I have to keep that fact in my head whenever a new you Penny item power? shows up. You feeling the power? I am feeling the power, but I'm just feeling gross about saying Penny. Gary, you pre ruined uh, a child. You said about Penny. I did pre ruin a child and some future bits. Well, yeah. he actually, the listener pre ruined our bits by having a kid. Okay. <laughs> to be Once fair. Once again. It is you, the listener's fault, not ours. Yeah. Yeah. Get, get to the uh, guppy abstinence pledge here <laughs> to not have kids. Um, good night, everybody. No ghost. Good night. No ghosts. Hello and welcome to Everything to Guppy, the Binding of Isaac podcast that talks about every tainted character, tainted character, tainted character in the Binding of Isaac series of video games. My name is Gary Butterfield, and with me as always is a chicken place that'll give you salmonella, Will Hughes. Okay. All right. So it's Raising Canes is the, the chicken Yeah, Tainted place? Canes. Sure, I get it. Is the name of the chicken. Yeah. 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 Uh, named after, of course, the, the John Lithgow horror movie? I assumed it was named after the original vampire. Kane, oh, I mean, the sire allegedly of the, the original vampire. It's not actually clear. Uh, the antediluvians are tricky. There's there's a lot going on there. It's it's a uh, yeah. It's hard to say. The if there's one thing to take away from the show is that the antediluvians are tricky. Like you know, the, when the Ravnos <laughs> uh, Methuselah wakes up, brings on the night, the day of shadows, really fucks everything up. Cannot wait for that. They're practically gods. You know, I'm they don't even count as vampires the anymore. They're really good. They're great. I love them. Uh, uh, I love uh, Gehenna. Is like I my favorite of all the White Wolf source books are the the three they published about their the world's ending. 
I got to read those. I have a big, uh, back in the day when there was the website, the Trove, before it got taken down, that just had every old source book. Uh, I went through and downloaded every Shadowrun book that existed and uh-huh. every Vampire the Masquerade book that existed. Nice. Uh, and I haven't read them because they're digital and I don't like reading books in digital that much. Yeah. But uh, someday I will. The two Hunter the Reckoning books are really good too. I love, I, I man, I love Hunter the Reckoning. Uh, old just old, old Darkness is great in kind of general. Yeah, Hunter the Reckoning is awesome. Uh, I've gone through, like, that's a, a very regular TV Tropes revisit. Mm-hmm. Um, going through new and old World of Darkness and just going, even things that seem like they'd be stupid, like Promethean, are still pretty fun to read. Yeah, and, like, and I think that's the know. best way to experience old world. Like, I, I, I genuinely think from everything I've read, New World of Darkness stuff is built to be more player friendly and better for, like, actually, like, running campaigns. As a game. Yeah, Old World yeah. of Darkness is not a good game. Uh, uh, which sucks because a, I love all the flavor of it, but yeah, it's good flavor. It's, but it's too much flavor. It's like when you go to, yeah. uh, tainted canes. Yeah, ex- exactly. You know, a cold stone and give them the, you know, Dr. Demento mouth fuck me special. Um, Gary, a, uh, I'll give you, I'll give you $9. If you go to cold stone and look at the, the cold stone <laughs> employee and say, give me the Dr. Demento mouth fuck me special. Where's a cold stone? Is there a cold stone near me? I would do that. Yeah, there's cold stones in Portland for sure. They would, they would, I, they would know exactly what that meant. Absolutely. They would just ding the bell and sing a little song and like give yeah. me a bunch of ice cream. <laughs> like slow, slow. bulbous <laughs> bouffant. <laughs> the uh, they Gazebo. give me a big bottle of shaving cream. Uh, mm. Gary, I like how you can track our relative ages by which bad Doctor Demento songs <laughs> were, are, are our go-to pulls. Yeah, man. I I did. I, I listened to a lot of shaving cream. Uh, be nice and clean. The uh, we're talking about tainted cane today because it is tainted character day time. Character. Meanwhile, Gary, I'd rather have a bottle in front of me than have to have a frontal lobotomy. That one was also in my rotation. Yeah. So I also had that one quite a bit. Yeah. And, and of course, Fish Heads, which is a novelty song, but it's also just like Halloween music. Sure. Gary, uh, you know. I'm going to ask you a question and you might just not have yep. an answer, but I'm, I'm now I'm genuinely curious. I'm asking out of good faith. Don't get mad. Yep. What's your okay. favorite Weird Al song? Don't get mad. Why would I get mad? I don't know, man. I, if I understood why people get mad at me for the things I do and say, I wouldn't have all my problems. We keep telling you. <laughs> okay, but you're lying. <laughs> um, that's a great question. Thank you. Uh, I said that. It might be Frank's 2000 inch TV. Okay. Yeah. It might. It, it's probably one of the style parody things. Mm-hmm. I also, I really love uh, everything you know is wrong. The, yeah. They might I mean, style the, parody. so the style parodies of the two bands you like the most that I already like because they're really accurate uh, style parodies. They sound like lost songs from a band. I really like Gary. If I, if I can find you to straight parodies, do you think you could come up with an answer? Yeah. Yeah. Of course. Um, it might be, uh, so this is a silly one, but it was because it was the record I had. I listened to the most as a kid. Sure. It might be the, uh, uh, what is it? The, the parody of, uh, there's a little black spot on the sun today. Oh, sure. Uh, is you're it, talking about uh, King of Suede. King of, yeah. King of Suede. Yes. Uh, it could have been the King of Pain parody. Yeah. Uh, Again, cause I think it helps because King of Pain is just an exceptional, like yeah, in some really ways, catchy. King King of Suede is a better song because it doesn't have some of that sting bullshit in it. That's exactly that. Like it's about you know something funnier. And then also, I think it was a non parody, but that had the Midnight Sun. Okay. Uh, the thing about the tabloid that album, right? Am I uh, I'm, I'm not sure. I, like I can't go album by album. Like, uh, yeah, it's from it's anything before for me as well. Yeah, it was it was one of the '80s albums. It was the one I had the most. I listened to the most, the tape of, and I think that might might be King of Suede. I. Gary, I'm a little embarrassed to say it, but I think my answer to this question is legitimately the Star Wars one. Oh, the, the, Ameri- Force, uh, the, the American Pie, American the Pirate? saga begins. Yeah. Wow, he's owie. Yeah. Yeah. I, I find that song a little bit annoying. 
Uh, sure. but probably because I find American Pie a little bit annoying. And you're not wild uh, about them Star Wars. I'm not wild about the Star Wars. It isn't. It is, you know, an improvement on Star Wars to make Weird Al sing it. And it, an impro- uh, I would argue an improvement yeah. on American Pie. I, I, for me, it's a mixed bag. There, that's a that's a wash uh, for me. I'm about as interested in you know the history of rock and roll as I am. No, I'm more interested in the history of rock and roll. But Don McLean singing it is not super interesting to me. Do you feel like it would be better if it referenced the, what happens to those characters on the Venture Brothers? Yes. Yeah. Just another verse yeah. about, and then uh, they became Red Dragon, <laughs> they, or, Red, just, or Red Mantle and Dragon. Hold on, we're going to explain the guild. <laughs> like, it's going to be a <laughs> The Sovereign minutes. claims to be David Bowie, but it's not true. <laughs> not <you. laughs> yeah, I, uh, uh, yeah. That's, I, I remember watching that video and enjoying it. Uh, when I was on and not least of which for the novelty of like a seven minute long music video. Plus Ben Foltz is in there. Weird Al's great. Weird Al's really good, Gary. This is tainted cane. Yeah. Uh, this is a character. Uh, I'm going to say before we explain anything about it, I had a journey with this guy. Sure. Where I I, very impressed by him still, but really liked him at first. And now I kind of hate him. (laughs) Uh, I don't, is, is that because of your journey or because of changes that have been made to the character? It is because of, uh, well, I don't know, because I don't really know what changes have been made. I just, it is, it is an amount of overhead and it is, it, it feels like a thing where it's like, get out the spreadsheet and break this or you're fucked as a, as a game or as well, a, a, a game or a play or a playthrough as a run. So, That's so Gary, uh, uh, let me explain what this character's I, concept is yes. and then explain why there might've been a major change that either explain, makes you like it more or less. It all, baby. So uh, this is the crafting system in The Binding of Isaac. Uh, yes. Tainted Cain has an You're not called... dreaming. Ooh. There's a crafting system in Binding of Isaac. Yeah. Uh, Tainted Cain has an item called Bag of Crafting. Uh, Tainted Cain doesn't get items normally. doesn't get, like, treasure rooms and things like that. Uh, instead, you get... Or they get treasure rooms, but they don't get... I don't know. Uh, they can't they pick get... up items. They pick yes. up items and they, pot, they turn into a bunch of consumables. Yeah, keys, hearts, things like that. Uh, however, uh, when Tainty Kane picks those pickups up, they go into the bag of crafting, and then you can hit a button, and they will be treated as components in a recipe for any of the items in the game. They can be picked up. You have to use the item. Otherwise, okay. you can just pick them up as keys and stuff. Okay, but you have you. to choose to smack them. Yeah. Previously, and this is the big change, okay. uh, there were set recipes for things so you could just look at the big chart and say oh i want these items let's craft these items that is no longer the case uh the recipes are now randomized uh so that you are going to have to fuck around and discover recipes during your run okay so that that so okay uh that i think is probably an improvement Probably to the other way to play. But is it, I wonder, I, I need to play this character again. Cause I, I was turned off from playing this character because of the, those reasons from before. Yes. Um, I wonder if it plays appreciably different than like an Eden. Like how is it different from just getting random items? I mean, I guess hypothetically then like if you find an item that synergizes well, that like stacks mm-hmm. well with itself, uh, you, you can, can make several it. of them. Yeah. Like if yeah. you get like a stat up or something, you can just keep making like a damage up item that would make sense i should i should play with this character more i have no unlocks for this character same uh, i, I, poked I just, at this character and i was like this is too complicated this is past my fiddly line yep and i when i found out when i tried to just play it naturally i just ended up desperately underpowered because in the first version of this like meaningful stat ups were really hard to make yeah and you were constantly making bullshit like portable slot machine you know and it's like well yes. fuck this you know like I don't want this. There are too many items in this game for this to be good. Uh, yeah. So the the idea that this is uh, random, I need to replay it. So yeah. I've not done my due diligence. I got to uh, go back through and uh, get some more time on this guy now that he's been updated. Yeah. Regardless, though, it's going to be complicated. You're going to be giving up your consumables in exchange for uh, any kind of actual And your items power in up. exchange for consumables. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, it feels very luck-based. Like it feels very, uh, and Isaac is very luck based. I get that, but it feels more so like really, really easy, even with this new form of just not getting any good items. 
Yeah. That, oh, that, it's lemon, lemon mishap, holy water, and range up. You know, on the first two floors. Yeah. That yeah. that being said, I think Gary and I are in agreement that the ambition of this item of this character oh. is uh, phenomenal. I I every tainted character that fundamentally changes the way you play is a miracle. Yeah, the, uh, uh, like you know, you know repentance dot text. It's always going to be a big idea, just not always a good idea. Yeah. Uh, and those big swings are worthwhile on their own yeah. because one of the things I was thinking about this now that I mentioned before I've been playing Isaac again is that even the bad ideas you only have to engage with if you're trying to unlock stuff, you mm-hmm. have to engage with them for a limited amount of time. Yeah. So like even something like this, like when I eventually just sit down to do these unlocks, it's, you know, a week or so of playing before bed to do those. It's not going to be that big of a deal. Yeah. Uh, and then I can move on. Like it's not, you know, I get those unlocks. I experiment with the idea. Even if the idea is not a success. I experienced it and I can move on. You get you know, in, that's you a, get that's out. Good. Wham, bam. Thank you, Miss Jackson. I love to get in and I yeah. love to get out, you know? And I hate it's to watch a, you leave, but I love to watch you walk away. I love to see you go. Love to see your butt. Hate I, it when you leave, but I like to look at your behind. Yeah. Uh, and I don't that's do what that expression it. means, right? It, it's exactly what it means. Yeah. Uh, and okay. Gary, when I'm doing that, I'm not yeah. leering, right? I'm not a leerer. No, no, no. no. You're gawking. Yeah. Well, yeah, Gary, I am gawking because have you seen those? Gary, have you seen the two pressed hams you got in the back of your pants there that you call an ass? I was thinking about my ass recently. Sure. And I was thinking uh, because I had a pair of underwear. As a man does as he rounds the corner of 40. Yeah. Yes. Uh, They kept falling down. And uh, for like maybe the fourth time in our relationship, I told my fiance, hey, remind me when I get home to throw away these underwear. Uh, which is, you know, just the, the fact that it keeps happening with the same pair of underwear is very funny to yeah. me. Gary, uh, you know, yeah. I'm not, you know, I'm not, you know, as much as we joke about ads and stuff on this yeah. show, right? Yes. The podcast underwear, yes. I switched over to the podcast underwear and I'm not saying the brand name because it's not a fucking ad. Yep. Yep. Uh, best underwear you, I've you ever had. Them. All fits great. Looks great. Genuinely vouch for the podcast underwear. How many pairs do you have? Like twenty? Have they replaced all? Of, oh, they replaced yeah. all of your underwear. Yeah, yeah. That seems expensive to me. And I mean, I, you get I, one like I, every couple, like every month, every like two months, maybe. Olivia likes to get them because she likes the colorful patterns. I've also uh, got many underwear that work for me. This was a specific problem dog that work? I was trying to take out back well, and shoot. Fucking throw them out. Uh, I did. And, and stop <laughs> saying and stop saying Breaking Bad stuff. Not on the Breaking. <laughs> Gary, if you want to do more better quality vacuum, whatever it's called, you do that. But don't try to get your rocks off on this show just because it's weak I, god i love to give i i get my rocks off strongly here oh um the what? Uh, <laughs> not weekly oh um fuck yeah. fuck <laughs> i hate i was you know what <laughs> i hate you oh. i i i pull i try i pulled that punch for a second but then i lived in the emotion and I don't hate what you said. I hate you for saying it. it sucks, man. What would you do without me, man? Fucking sucks. Doing? No one would have you. Have it, you can see what? So what? <laughs> <laughs> oh, too real. Too real. No one, no one would have you. Fuck. Oh, Gary has rolled critical damage. Uh, well, you said you hated me. I had to get to weak point. No, no, but I was joking. Well, I was joking too. I don't know that you were. At least one person would have you. You live with a partner, so no one is clearly. And there's the, this John I keep hearing about. Yeah. Um. Yeah. I met one of your friends at the. Uh, I mentioned one of your friends at the uh, the part of the Magic Gaming Expo. Sure. I'm like, oh, Will's great. I love that guy. Yeah. No yeah. one will have you. <laughs> then, Gary, no if uh, people enjoy this show, what should they do? <laughs> uh, go to uh, patreon.com slash duckfeed. I wish we had spent more time on day, like either of us had spent any time playing this guy so we could talk about what it's like. Yeah. Uh, go Gary. to patreon.com slash duckfeed TV and uh, give us some money. No, this episode has played out exactly how I wanted. I've never been happy. It, it's, it's about it's about correct. Yeah. Uh, uh, Gary, and then review? also leave us a rating review on Apple Podcast Podcast Addict. Yeah, like this one left on Podcast Addict by Corn Collar. Just listen to my Corn first Collar. episode. Actually, uh, Epsido. 
Uh, Everything to Guppy is a trivia show that takes place within a corn maze. While they offhandedly discuss the Binding of Isaac, not sure what this is, but it seems important to the lore, I thought there should be more trivia included in a trivia podcast. Maybe it was an off week. Can't wait to hear hear about what other locations they answer trivia questions in next. That'd be a good show. It's a great show. I love the idea of a corn collar as well. I was yeah. thinking of that, like the corn cop gets a gets always gets his corn collar. Mm-hmm. You know, uh, it's spelled uh, uh, like phone collar, but oh, got gotcha. you. Like children of the corn priest. Yeah, those would both be good though. Gary, yeah. a podcast where we go to different locations and loudly ask each other trivia questions is a good idea. It's a great location, a great idea. And let me one up that idea. So, uh, we, uh, you're the one who drives, so it's a little bit tricky. Here. Sure. But we take turns choosing and we don't know where one person doesn't know where we're going to go. Okay. So, like, you know, hey, you, Gary, you, that it, would be tricky for me as the driver. Would I have a blind well, fob? <laughs> the, uh, well, well, during driving, but I'd guide you. Sure. Um, the, the, uh, no, like I would just put in an address. Sure. You know, into the GPS, or I would tell you how to get there. I'd navigate us. You'd see it when we got there, obviously. You know, but the, uh, yeah, because it would be fun. We could, we could trick each other with different spaces. Like, hey, let's go to that by the hour hot tub place. Yeah. <laughs> and sit in a hot tub and ask each other trivia. <laughs> just like <laughs> catch all the diseases. Just like Dr. Demento and his cadre of lovers. Uh, by the way, uh, I, I, I need to plug these. I need to remember. Uh, if people, would like to know what it's like when Will uh, is in fact on his own and has been abandoned by those who love him. Uh, Dr. Demento harem anime. Is that a thing? I was trying to plug my streams, but this is a good question. No, I know. Uh, but I was okay. just thinking like, yeah, is he with, it is it other novel? Is it, are we doing it's the his thing? Harem. See Gary, I He's feel the- like we, what we need to do is take all of the, the parody bands or maybe the parody yes. songs and do that anime thing where they take like uh, battleships and turn them into fuckable uh, twelve. Oh, okay. <laughs> the, the classic anime move. I um, mean, it's a classic. Yeah. Like you know, there's the there's the one where the you know like the axe. There is an actual fucking anime thing where it's the fucking Axis powers, but they're like yeah. pretty boys. I know, I know exactly what you're talking about. If it if it's something that is gross about anime, I know it. Yeah. Um. The. Uh, yeah, and we could do that with all those novelty songs, and then they could, uh, and then as Doctor Demento, you choose which one you want to date. Yeah, and I would say, uh, I'm gonna say at the Gary, he doesn't get the hat till the end of the first season, because that's how fucking prequels have to work. Yeah, <laughs> and we get to find out how he got the hat. Mm-hmm. He, he went to a <laughs> hat legend- shop and bought it. His, his eleven legendary cravat, and how that came into being. <laughs> uh, and now is the origin of my cummerbund season four. Yeah. Uh, please continue your plug. No, you have to do the plug now because you interrupted. Okay. Will streams with his buddy John often, but sometimes with listeners. Uh, every Friday and additional days. Yeah, okay. Uh, take a shot. Take uh, a shot. And I'll just int when you're wrong. Okay. Uh, Monday, Tuesday. Eh, eh. <laughs> Is it two ands or one and? No, uh... Gary, I apologize. I was so in. Th- I wasn't crazy about the first ant, so I wanted to se- take a second shot at it. There was just one ant. Okay. There. Okay. Uh, Tuesday. Friday, Saturday. Ant. Eh? Oh, damn it. <laughs> Thought I had it. Uh, I know Friday. Friday is my one that's locked in in this Wordle game. Uh huh. And who knows how many days there are, so this could go on for a while. Sure. Um, the, uh, Tuesday, Wednesday, Friday, <laughs> how many days is it Four? I don't three? feel obligated to tell you. Damn it. Um, Friday. Uh, I don't think you do it on Monday cause you edit after I send you the stuff you edit it. Um, and I know that on Thursday, I want to say you have like a weird work day. Um, so Friday, Friday, Sunday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Eh! Damn it! Is it one? Eh? How many ends? You just—I mean, the entire. I'm taking the entire data set and evaluating. Whether I know, it and it makes this game impossible. <laughs> <laughs> Gary, it's not that impossible. There's only seven fucking days and X number of combinations. <laughs> 
but I don't know how many of them I'm trying to pick, <laughs> and sure. I only know one of them is right, and I don't know when I get one right. Yeah, it's, well. <laughs> it's a challenging game. Start playing Mastermind with it. <laughs> You're trying to blue screen me. Um, <laughs> I am. Friday. Friday, Saturday. Okay. Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Tuesday. Got it. Correct, Gary. <laughs> uh, at twitch.tv slash plumber.gary. Gary, now do you feel a little bad about saying that no one would have me? I, I feel bad about saying that game was really hard. <laughs> Because I just need to think about it for one second and access my logic part of my brain, which I turn off during this show. Uh, who who could reject somebody who streams as much as you? Uh, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Tuesday, streaming uh, for a while. Disco Elysium. Yeah. Uh, but it got it was too talky and thinky. Uh-huh. Uh, generally now, uh, Fortnite and chain trying out new stuff. Uh, yeah, I was doing, I've been doing uh, excavation of Hobbs Barrow. Yeah, the uh, but, the Hasbro, the new Wadjet Eye. Uh, I mean, published, game. published, not developed. Yeah, but it's still pretty good for pulling that out of nowhere. I know. <laughs> yeah, really good. Yeah. I, I, you know, like, yeah. I'm. It's mostly because I listened to the Strange Land episode of WAF. Really good, but yeah. I do still hope that someday you'll do a real Wadjet Eye game instead of. I would love to. I, 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 I love it. We have to do Return to Monkey Island. That's. Mm-hmm. Uh, I got to get that on the schedule. But after that, I am interested in exploring more of the Wadjet verse. Um, uh, there's some good stuff in there. Yeah. Yeah. And there's some good stuff on your streams. Uh, recommended. That's at twitch.tv slash plumber duck. Gary, you don't have to recommend things you don't want to recommend on here. Let's not, let's not get silly. I'm sure I, I do recommend it in terms of streams. I just don't like watching streams. Sure. Like, Gary, I'm sure I'm it's I'm... a good one. Like, sincerely, like, I'm, you know, you're funny. I, I've seen clips of it that are funny. Like Gary, I, you I'm sure it's do, a good one. Gary, you don't have to do this, man. It's good. It's good. It's good. I'm not doing anything. I'm telling <laughs> you to do, like I don't I don't yeah. do bits like in that. Know, you know, know that that's the 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 reason why you and I are perfect comic foils sure. is because you are always lying and I am always telling the truth. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this is the truth. It does I don't make have us, to do anything. It does it's make us extremely bad at guarding these two doors though. <laughs> we are dog shit at these doors. <laughs> Every <laughs> single person asks two fucking questions and then just walk through <laughs> the goddamn yeah. safe door. Well, it's, I, I'm kind of into them getting into the door though. As the door, I'm not very invested in protecting it <laughs> personally. <laughs> I like to open. It feels good. Oh, oh uh, wait, are we, we're, you went to the labyrinth place where we are the doors. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. And I bet that's a nice change of pace to be opened. Yeah. All yeah, by Dr. Mento's gigantic throbbing cock. <laughs> <laughs> no ghosts. <laughs> Woohoo! D. Is that, your, oh, is that Chris Pratt? No, that was Dr. Demento talking about double penetration. <laughs> woo! Ah, woo! Woohoo! Woohoo! Ah. Mushroom Kingdom, Bussy. here we come! Ah, uh, Mushroom Kingdom does come. Yeah. Ah. Uh, good week. <laughs> <laughs>